Hello, my name is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'll show you how you can show a preview of a document or a picture, actually a, a thumbnail. So um, it's a trick. Uh, let's see how we do it. So I'm on a team site. I'll go and create a document library. Let's call it doc123 and I will create it. I will now upload uh, some documents. Some will be PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and I will add some images as well. Let's look for some nice images. Here we go. Okay, I have this one. So I have this one and I'll pick again the Word and PowerPoint and uh, Excel. They're uploaded. Okay, now what we can do is currently if we change the, the view to tell, we can see a preview. But what if we want to see some metadata? So I'll go back to list. And what the trick is, it actually we can create a column. It can be a single line of text. And what we need to do is actually to type in the name thumbnails. The thumbnails needs to be like this with a capital. And we press save. Look what happens. This is magic. You see, I see the preview of the picture. Now I can see additional uh, metadata if I create. And I can see an Excel preview, a Word preview, and a PowerPoint. The only um, preview which I think does not show is a PDF. Uh, let me check. I can find an example for a PDF. Here we have a P PDF and it has been added here. It does not show the preview but all of the rest yes. So this is really uh, useful because as, as I said tell I can only see uh, the picture and uh, the name of it but if I want to see more I added the thumbnail column. Uh, let's see how, what type of, uh, I'll go to library settings. Let's see that this thumbnail is actually still a single line of text. Now, um, additional thing that I can show you is, besides the picture, I can add a picture column. Now it's a bit strange, because usually maybe in the list you'll do that, but you see we have an image here. So let's call this pick2 and it's an image and I can see. Now what will happen is, for instance this is like the main picture but I can refer to additional picture. So I will mark this and go to the information panel and here I can actually add an image. So I could choose from any image I want, let's say this SharePoint. You see it uploaded it and currently I see it as something uh, small. Let's try something maybe a bit bigger. Uh, I'll mark two, so I need to unmark. Let's go here, I'll look for a really large image. Let's see how it does it. Second, here we go. Okay, so this is the way how it pre shows it. Um, so I hope this uh, tip uh, can help you. Um, share it with your colleagues. If you like my channel, subscribe and set an alert. And see you in the next uh, tips and tricks in SharePoint Wizard. Goodbye.